Taylor Swift claims that she was a couple with Travis Kells prior to going to her first NFL game and that it would be psychotic to go hard on a first date. After several months of speculation and public appearances, Taylor Swift has formally declared her relationship with Travis Kells to be true. In an exclusive cover story for Time magazine, Swift discussed her relationship with the Kansas City Chiefs star, earning her the title of 2023 Person of the Year. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, she explained. As soon as that happened, we got together. We actually spent a good deal of time together without anyone knowing, which I appreciate because it allowed us to get to know one another. Kels visited his own team's home stadium, Arrowhead Stadium, in Kansas City during the era's tour back in July. Soon after, on his podcast New Heights, he expressed his admiration for Swift and expressed his hope to provide her with his phone number. Their relationship status was the subject of much conjecture, but nothing was confirmed until she publicly supported Kels at a Chiefs game in September. Swift acknowledged, by the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. Some people may believe that they witnessed our first date at that game, I believe. We would never be sufficiently insane to start a first date with violence. Swift, who previously dated actor Joe Alwyn for six years before their split was officially announced in April, is enjoying a change of pace with the public nature of their relationship. The two were hardly ever seen together and were notoriously private about one another in interviews. When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for for each other, other people are there and we don't care, Swift stated to time. On the other hand, you have to exert a great deal of effort to ensure that nobody finds out that you're seeing someone. And we simply enjoy each other's company. True enough, Swift has since gone to a number of Chiefs games, the most recent one being on Sunday in Green Bay, Wisconsin, while Kels took a flight to Buenos Aires for a different concert in November.